have heard of the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. As it relates to A1 Farms, we believe and strongly believe that there's no such thing as waste. We look at it as stuff being in the wrong place. My name is Mackie Truss. I'm owner manager of A1 Farms, established in 2012. And so we're running strong now for 10 years. On our farm, we specialize in leafy greens. Um, we do some outdoor farming as well, but most of the stuff that we do are indoors, um, in greenhouses. Why would we need the three hours? We need the three hours to eliminate as much as possible wastage. What we do at A1 Farms is that we reuse our pots to replant from one crop to the next. In terms of recycle, instead of putting egg cartons on the ground, you put it in the bin. If you're really good, you'll put it in the recycle bin. But there's a better place for it, rather than putting it on the ground. Instead of using just three hours, here on A1 Farms, we use seven. Refuse, reuse, repair, repurpose, recycle, rot, regenerate. That way, we have no waste. In terms of agriculture, we tend to think of a closed loop system as a system where um, during farming, you say for in, the, in the case of nutrients, there's nothing that is wasted. All that nutrients goes back into the system to be used again and again and again. Now, um, you could think of a closed loop system as even as um, the residue from the plants. You take that residue and you compost it and you bring that residue right back into the system or into the agricultural farm to um, feed the plants as well. Yes, um, we have some animals on our farms. Um, we have rabbits and what we do is that we feed the rabbits and the pigs also the um, wastage from the uh, vegetables and in turn we get the poop from the rabbits and that poop, um, well, we call it manure as well. That manure is then reincorporated back into the farm. So that's another form of a closed loop system. Well, if, if that system or one angle of that system breaks down, we would have real difficulty because what would happen now is that we would have to source food um, for the animals from outside. And you know, when you're depending on um, outside forces, anything can happen. The supply chain can break down and then we can run ourselves into um, some difficulties there. So it's important that all facets of the closed loop system is, is working properly. It's, it's very difficult because um, items from overseas, you get the, you get the um, imported stuff here, it's very difficult because, ex for example, the, the supply chain um, in terms of shipping it's very difficult to get everybody together to even get a container of, say, plastic bottles to send back overseas to the manufacturer. Sometimes the, the cost that is involved is very prohibitive. So um, it's, it's a very difficult proposition when you talk about a closed loop system and you're in, including um, external factors. The, then again, we, we go back to the supply chain. I always advocate for us to um, provide locally for our local communities. When we're depending on importation of, of food, we really can't, in my mind, speak about food security because we're depending on somebody external. If there's um, something that goes on externally, for example, we, we know we're in the COVID-19 situation, um, those outside countries would definitely feed themselves first. We look again at the, the war situation in, in, in Russia and Ukraine. What's happening is that the, the prices of, of um, food is getting scarce because the supply is getting scarce and the supply chain as well is affected. So that in itself would expose um, the, the supply chain and food security. So um, yeah, it's, it's very difficult when you um, depending on outside factors and outside influences for food. There's really not much security in that at all. Ah, 
as a nutritionist, one would um, definitely look at that and smile because fresh is where the most nutrients are. Sometimes when we get these food from overseas, we realize that these foods have been traveling uh, maybe one week, two weeks, sometimes up to a month um, before it gets here. So that in itself would compromise the nutritional value of the food. And then we talk about the carbon footprint as well. Um, traveling miles over, whether land or via sea, um, that would increase the carbon footprint of that food getting here. Now, as opposed to the food that you provide locally for your own community, it's picked the same day that it's um, on the table. Um, the longest period, I would say, is, is maybe a couple of days if it goes to the supermarket. But for example, if it goes to the restaurant, most restaurants use the food the same day. So it's basically from farm to table. So you get all the nutrients that you, you, you really desire from the particular food and, and, and food systems. For a closed loop system to work and be sustainable, each one have to do their part. Um, fruits and vegetables that are not edible, just don't throw them on the ground. Take them and add them to the compost. That way, um, the compost would break down and then you could use the manure from the compost and put it right back into the um, greenhouse or to the plants. So take the uh, vegetables that you can't use and add them to the compost. When the system is broken, there are environmental and health consequences. If you truly want to make a difference, you would produce as little waste as possible. Thank you.